We will now talk about the eastern gray squirrel, which is our third invasive species. The eastern gray squirrel is either gray or black, although black is a very rare color for the species. You will most commonly find them as gray. The species originates from Midwest North America to the east and is commonly found around the areas of New Brunswick to Manitoba and the east of Texas to Florida. The eastern gray squirrel was brought to Europe and Vancouver as an ornamental species because people loved the way they looked. They invaded Vancouver in 1914 when eight squirrels were released in Stanley Park, Vancouver from New York. Six years later, they fully established. In 1876, the eastern gray squirrel was introduced into the UK from Canada and the United States. They have taken over 90% and compete with the native red squirrel. But that's not where the invasion ends. The species have now been introduced into areas around Italy, Victoria, and Vancouver Island. Does the eastern gray squirrel's invasion create a problem? Well, yes. They remove the bark off oak trees, they feed on native wildlife, and they spread squirrel pox to the native red squirrels. Well, what is the solution? What can be done to stop the species from spreading and harming other wildlife? Organizations and teams, such as the Red Squirrels Initiative, ask for people's reported sites of the eastern gray squirrel in the area. Scientists are also working on creating a vaccine that will be put into all the wildlife in the area and eastern gray squirrel will be less attracted into the area and it will also prevent the red squirrel from getting squirrel pox. Another human action commonly taken in the UK is cutting down the oak trees. But this can't be done in British Columbia as it is one of their biggest natural resources and very important to the land. Created using Powtoon.